Hi, Gamer Girl here. This is our second vlog, and we're at SAC Anime again, but in January, and it rained a lot today and yesterday, which was Friday. Well, it didn't rain a lot Friday. It rained a little bit Friday, but today it was rainy and windy, and we got souvenirs. This is Helios from Sailor Moon Super S. And I'm a husband, Fruitful, and I actually got red bean uh, paste rolls, <laughs> which is what I want to souvenir of. Yeah, we got a bunch of snacks. Well, those are one of the snacks. This, These are Hello Pandas, strawberry flavored. Before the vlog, I ate all the chocolate flavored ones. They were that delicious. <laughs> and I got, I'm into Digimon right now. I mean, I still like Pokemon, but I'm also into Digimon. This is Gatomon. And got two t-shirts. I went all out with souvenirs this year. Uh, Ruby. Created by Monty Ohm from Rooster Teeth. Ruby, the one in the red cape. Weiss, white haired chick. Blake, black hair, gold eyes. And Yang, blonde. <laughs> in case you don't know who they are. Ruby's been really popular. Let's see. And Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we went to, today we went to a Kingdom Hearts fan panel where this, I forgot his name, but the guy in charge of it, he was explaining from birth, birth by sleep all the way to two and all the games in between that and summarizing it, but in a funny way. So it was funny, but it was also interesting because he summarized all the games. And no, there were no spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 3, so please, Kingdom Hearts 3 fans, don't ask. Go watch the trailers like I did on YouTube. And oh, and if you go to Sack Anime, you get to wear a badge. Well, weekend we got we got the weekend badges. And a wristband. They won't let you anywhere without a wristband. Cause I was going on getting on an escalator, but my sleeve when I was wearing my cosplay covered it. And the little lady's like, "Can I see your wristband?" So I pulled the sleeve up, and she saw it. I was an escalator to go upstairs. We <laughs> wanted to see the uh, wristbands so we can go upstairs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they check. They stop you and check. Um, so yesterday we went to Vendor's Hall, looked around at all the merchandise, which is where we got all the souvenirs from. And, uh, oh yeah. One of my sisters, Scarlet Fox, got... Sailor Moon Locket Keychain and Konzen from Sayuki. And what else did we do yesterday? Well, she didn't go, but I went with Scarlet Fox back to the uh, convention and sat through a couple of, what are they called, panels? Panels. Where the yeah. voice actors uh, sit there and talk and answer questions. Do that you? was the first couple of panels I went through and. Uh, it was different. We also went to the AMV. Um, they, the action ones were really good, but then the drama ones came up and I wanted to start crying. They were so depressing. So about halfway through that, I said, we both agreed, let's just go home. I mean, well, not home per se, it's the hotel. So, so yeah, that's what they did. They saw AMVs uh, Friday night. And they went to two voice actor panels. Do you remember their names, Scarlet Fox? Um, Tara Sands and Chris Patton. Mm. And then we did the Science of Disney. Oh yeah, the Science of Disney. That one was interesting. And yes, it, literally it was the science about Disney. Cold Front and Frozen and Arendelle and um, Beauty and the Beast with the rose, which apparently in the original story was blue, which was interesting to learn that it was originally blue, not red. And yeah. And there's Hot and Cold Frost. Oh, Hot and Cold Frost. Oh, and they talked about Secret of the Wings, a Tinkerbell movie. Oh. Interesting enough about the Blue Rose in the original telling of Beauty and the Beast, apparently they didn't exist. So they couldn't be made. The only way to make them was to dye them. So that's why it was a big deal. Bring me a Blue Rose. Well, they don't exist. How am I supposed to do that? So, so yeah, that's what they... That's what we did Friday, and then today, which is Saturday, 
we went to the Kingdom Hearts thingy, which I already mentioned, uh, Kingdom Hearts fan panel, and then we saw Vic Mignogna, the panel, 2.30 to 3.30. He was really nice, and we got good seats. There was enough seats for people who wanted to come in. And, and it was funny because we were standing at the exit door, at the entrance door, so we had to go all the way around to the entrance. <laughs> that was mislabeled. The was mislabeled. plan said that the panel was room 414, so we went to room 414. And I walked to the door, and it's like the, the back of the stage with curtains and everything. I'm like, oh, that's not right. So eventually I walked all the way back around to the other side, and it's like, oh, yeah, it's right here. And I'm like, this this is the main event. It has nothing to do with uh, um, room 414. So we made it. Yeah, we made it, and we saw the Vic Mignogna panel. And then... We were going to go to something at 5, but because we were looking for, you know, something to eat, uh, we didn't have time to go to the 5 o'clock thing, so now we were just hanging out in the hotel until 9 o'clock, because 9 o'clock tonight we're going to watch AMVs, but we're going to leave the room at 8, so we have enough time to see the AMVs. But we're only going to watch the action ones, because the drama ones are so sad. So, yeah. And I think that's what we've done so far. Yep. And, and we've been eating snacks in the hotel, and uh, Blue Wolf, her older sister, got a bunch of snacks, too. <laughs> Anything else to mention, I mean? Oh, I got some Hello Panda snacks. <laughs> oh, and these cute panda bear snacks. I didn't show it to you because I ate them all already. Because <laughs> oh. it's a small bag, but it was like a little biscuit that was frosted with strawberry frosting on the front and then oh. on the back had no frosting. They're really good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. And I think that's it. Unless anyone else has anything to add. Someone took my picture. Oh yeah, someone took his picture. It was a cosplay. little kid. He ran up to me and threw his phone in my face and said, hey, and then he steps back. I stop and stare at him. He says, can I take your picture? I'm like, I just say yes. And he just stared at me, and then I realized he couldn't hear me through the mask. So then I knocked. I nodded. So that was interesting. And only one person recognized my cosplay, which is Red Whirlwind from Romeo and Juliet. And Scarlet Fox is cosplaying as Juliet. Not in the dress, though, in, like, the skirt. And, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I have nothing else to add. <laughs> yep. And we'll probably do a short vlog tomorrow, so see you tomorrow.